Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European markets for Tuesday's trading session, the 6th of December 2016. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com. Also, Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers, www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple's App Store. Okay, now <clears throat> let's try and uh, understand where this uh, market ended today. Uh, certainly very, very bullish to say the least. You have the FTSE up 33 points. Actually, it's uh, even higher after hours. Is that 6,800 now? Okay, it certainly closed at 6,780, but after hours, it certainly surged. The German DAX up um, even further at 10,800 after hours. The CAC as well up 4,650 after hours. So almost a one percentage point rally. Now, the most impressive move really was the FTSE MIB. If I bring up the chart of the FTSE MIB and give you a, a, an insight here, and this is what basically led the uh, short squeeze in Europe. And again, much to my surprise, and probably everybody's baffled, given the fact that the Italian referendum, everybody uh, voted to no, and therefore uh, it's in gridlock. And uh, in reality, it's actually bearish. I mean, the political uncertainty going forward now with the elections being called in February as well, and the uncertainty and so on and so forth. And why on earth would you buy the uh, FTSE MIB? If anything, you'd be driving this lower and uh, dumping the uh, dumping the actual market. So again, individuals are seeing value here. Um, I fail to see that. Uh, again, it's not my opinion uh, that counts. It's, it's the market that counts. And if the market collectively sees opinion, uh, sees value, then obviously the, the market will go higher. So certainly a breakout here on the weekly. Um, <clears throat> whether or not it has legs, I mean, it's something, that, uh, again, to uh, discuss at a later date. But a four percentage point move in a day, I mean, that's very, very impressive. And you had uh, the uh, IBEX as well up 2.15%. Uh, and it certainly led the short squeeze higher. We did have uh, the G European GDP coming in uh, slightly stronger than expected and German factory order stronger as well. Although we have had other weaker economic data. I mean, just for example, taking France into account, we've certainly had weaker data there. So really a <clears throat> something that I didn't expect anyway, because I was short the uh, equity markets today, stopped out on the euro stock, stopped out on the uh, the actual uh, French, France, uh, French CAC as well. Okay, currently short the FTSE, stop losses at 6809, so again, and I'm going to reshort the French CAC as well. So certainly not seeing any um, any logical reason for the actual rally, but again, logic is irrelevant here. Now, the other factor as well is that um, uh, Mr. Draghi or Mr. ECB basically uh, has stated um, that um, uh, basically, it seems that they've, they've been given the nod. I mean, everybody certainly has been given the nod with regards to buying ECB or bu buying EU equities, given the fact that we are going into this meeting on Thursday. So again, that could be a factor as well. In terms of Euro USD, if <clears throat> if QE had been given the nod, we certainly wouldn't be uh, experiencing a, a 300 pip or 350 pip rally on the Euro USD. So again, that's certainly something to take into account as well. Okay, Euro USD should technically be around sub 105. Uh, it shouldn't be at around the 107 level. So again, <clears throat> that's certainly another factor that comes into play. Now, we have uh, the uh, concerns with regards to Boeing and the Dow, okay, um, in terms of US markets. Now, the US market is certainly lagging here, especially given the fact that the German DAX is te retesting that 10800 zone, okay, certainly lagging. So it'll be interesting to see how US markets finish and how that will seem interpreted, interpreted in Europe as well. Now let's just look at the actual technical picture here. The daily chart of the German DAX. We're back at that key 10800 zone, okay, 10806, again, resistance. And whether or not we can actually break through it this time. And from my understanding at this very good juncture, it's very unlikely to, given the fact that we have political uncertainty in Europe. I mean, you have the French, the French <coughs> election as well. And we have no idea what the outcome there could be. I mean, uh, especially given the fact that we have uh, all these radicals and extremists gaining power now as well. So whether or not Europe is actually moving forward or backward is debatable, okay? But the equity market certainly is moving forward and it is certainly moving higher. So equity markets have already vaulted. Okay, now let's bring up the French CAC as well. The French CAC certainly did stop me out today on my shorts. I was expecting that double top to hold. I was expecting this horizontal resistance to hold as well for the markets to remain below 4.610. And that wasn't the case at all. We've certainly pushed higher. Now, the, next, the, the move that we've uh, moved to, or the market, the uh, direction that we've moved towards is gap fill. 
which is at 4636 so it certainly has gone and closed that gap the next gap that we're looking at now is 4678 okay that's the next potential gap that we are going to uh, observe now if that if the market continues to move higher then the next gap that we're going to close is at 4678 uh, you have have horizontal resistance here at uh, 4710 and then the next potential uh, resistance zone is seen at um, 4760 so impressive thrust higher in very very impressive thrust higher uh, not one that i expected not one that i anticipated but this market certainly seems to uh, confuse and uh, dumbfound us all so uh, you do have a diagonal trend line resistance at 4650 so that's one of the reasons why i'm shorting the uh, zone at 4650 and obviously you've got gap fill there as well so that certainly is going to uh, come into play okay and the french cac looking at the weekly chart you clearly see that we are into gap fill on the weekly as well the weekly gap is quite important okay and <clears throat> certainly expecting that to hold at 4640 okay now going back to the smaller time frame 60 minute chart on the uh, the cac 40 we certainly have broken above the key resistance here at 4606 certainly impressive short squeeze higher and the market certainly is very bullish in terms of european equities led <clears throat> like i said led by italy okay led by italy now looking at the 10 minute chart you clearly see that we it was extremely oversold here now okay and looking for a potential pullback on the uh, 10 minutes chart impressive move to say the least impressive move to say the least what a thrust higher okay hats off to the uh, european equities for this move now the next potential uh, index is uh, the FTSE. certainly uh, FTSE itself gyrated and uh, certainly is is still pending you still have this hns formation pending on the uh, the daily chart okay and certainly uh, it could be triggered at any time so just bear that in mind daily chart certainly has held support at that 6680 level and we certainly are bouncing ever since from there uh, 60 minutes chart you could clearly have resistance in this region here at 6790 so watch out for resistance at 6790 you have uh, 6790 you have resistance at 6800 Currently, FTSE out of hours is at 6800. So, certainly looking for weakness there, and 6800 certainly to hold into tomorrow. If we do push higher, then you will do have resistance at 6820. That's another zone based on diagonal trend line resistance to look to uh, potentially short. Go to the uh, 10 minute chart now on the FTSE. You can clearly see we had a topping tail towards the close, uh, but that certainly has been ignored, and we are now testing that 6800 double top after hours. Okay, 6800 double top after hours. Okay, let's look at the euro stocks now. <clears throat> okay, so daily chart at the moment is our horizontal resistance here. Uh, th 3 100. Okay, it's certainly <clears throat> an impressive thrust. A very, very impressive thrust. I did expect this gap fill, this uh, topping tail to hold here. Here, and that should have been the death of the euro stocks and the potential move or sell off back down to uh, 2900 on the back of obviously uncertainty regarding Italy, uncertainty regarding France, and general political uncertainty in the eurozone. Who would want to buy uh, any equity in the eurozone? You'd, you'd rather obviously f uh, rotate your money in, 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 in another area. I mean, you can emerging markets, for example, the US markets, for example, but yeah. Uh, investors have certainly chose the uncertainty and the high degree of uncertainty in the greater reward here especially prior to mr draghi it certainly seems to be a lot of front running going on certainly some inside information here okay with mr regards to mr draghi's potential qe program so the short squeeze certainly has ensued and now you are looking at resistance here at 3100 if that fails and the next potential gap that we need to close is at 3125 and that will be the next potential short zone for me at 3125 on the euro stock so bear that in mind okay folks but with the cac already at resistance with german dax and already at 10 800 can we really get to 3125 we shall see okay we shall see after hours we certainly have pushed higher to 3120 so again that certainly needs to be taken into consideration in terms of the euro stock so watch out for 3125 if the market continues it's a uh, bullish theme okay so uh, on that note be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.